Okay, that giant Kallax unit is gone and my window is free. We actually have some light in here again during the day. I'm so excited about it. And that's making this unit, the best of unit, look a lot less cluttered. Obviously there's still like cords and stuff everywhere and there's junk piled on top of it. But this side of the room is really starting to open up. And once I get all the extra junk out of here, it will feel so much better. Ugh, I'm so mad about this chair every single time. It's stained from my jeans and literally every time I see it like this, it makes me so mad. Um, I'm gonna be getting a new chair too, one that's not so big and bulky. I have this one because I stream on Twitch and uh, I wanted like a gaming chair for that, but honestly, I barely ever even sit back in the chair. So I don't think I need like a giant chair like this. I'm gonna get something much smaller. Anyway, Andrew's working on the printer cabinet today, so I'm in here trying to downsize, trying to clean up and get more done. Happy Monday. <laughs> This week in our garden, mutant strawberries. <laughs> Look how giant this is. What the heck? I'm obsessed. This is amazing. Let's pick it. <laughs> That's like a three or four strawberries in one. That's wild. A more normal one. Okay, Kieran, tell us how it tastes. Like a normal strawberry. It just tastes like a normal strawberry? Even though it's giant? No, I'll take a big Okay. Tea. Yeah, you too. How is your strawberry? Tastes like a normal strawberry. Tastes like a normal strawberry. Good job. Yum yum. <laughs> Alright, today is the day. Our zucchini is large enough to harvest. It's slightly narrow, narrower than I thought it was gonna be, but it is about time. This is gonna be hard because I'm trying to do this one-handed, but, oh, it's getting a little big for these scissors. We're gonna eat this today, so I'm not too worried about cutting off the stem. There we go. Our very first zucchini of the season. Oh my gosh, it looks pretty perfect. Let's see. We've got a little bit of a scratch right there, but I'm pretty sure that was from where it was sitting possibly, or maybe me just now. <laughs> but holy moly, it's a zucchini. Oh my gosh, into the basket we go. I think we might have a squash today as well. So, We'll see. Let me get it out of here. Look at that. A little dirty. We'll have to wash them, but I guess I know what we're having for dinner tonight. Woohoo! Sorry, it was blurry for a second there, but there's our zucchini and our squash, our very first one of each on the same day. Yay! Our peppers have had kind of a rough go. They look a little mangled and wrinkly. <laughs> so we're still trying to troubleshoot what's going on with them. But we got our very first little pepper. Let's see if it will focus. Hold on. Come on camera, there it is, our very first little pepper. This is like a tangerine dream pepper um, and it is growing the very first one on this plant, so I'm really excited. Hey, cute. 
Every day is strawberry day. Looking good. Make our little pile. Oh, sorry. There it is. <laughs> Any more over here? Oh, this one is not quite ready yet. It's got a little white on the bottom still. I'm gonna leave that one. Maybe until later this afternoon, but we'll see. Some of these are so tiny. Some cute little ones in here. Hooray! Looks like there's some in the back as well, so I'll grab those and then we'll take them in. I got a new letter board for the craft room. I'm so excited about this. It's such a cute color. It matches perfectly with my room. I had one before. Sorry about my messy desk. It's always, pretty much always like this. Um, <laughs> so, how is what moving? I'm moving it with my hand. 
Um, anyway, so uh, yeah, I had one before and it was like gray metal and just like kind of like an off-white color and I was not inspired by it at all. So I never like updated it at all, but I picked up this one from Target and I can't wait to put some letters and whatever on it. I don't know what I'm gonna make it say yet, but I'm excited. Oh my gosh, there's the printer cabinet. We still have to paint the shelves to go in it and all that, but we're gonna pop the printer in and see what it looks like. Okay, so the printers aren't where they're actually going to go and wow, look at all those cables. Cable management is on our list as well. Um, but yeah, so there's the big Epson. We have the sublimation. Epson down there and then we also have a Canon uh, printer that we just use for kind of like everyday printing um, so the the printers will get like shuffled around so I think the big one's gonna go down lower the little one's gonna go up higher um, but yeah we have a printer cabinet holy moly so this printer cabinet's gonna have a barn door in front of it so basically the way it will work is it will have the door in front and then it will slide because we're gonna put like a trim piece up here and kind of like wall that in um so the door will just like slide in front of this unit so it'll look like it's all one piece yay <laughs> This is the general idea. I don't think my laminator is gonna stay there. That's probably where the paper supplies and stuff are gonna go. But, hooray. We are making a lot of progress. I'm super excited. I can't wait for the barn door and all that to go on. We still have to like build the frame here and everything in order for that to happen, but yay. Okay, I'm gonna leave this video vlog here even though I feel like nothing has happened. Honestly, we really just worked on the shelf all week and um, I, I did a lot in the craft room but I really didn't film it because it was mostly like packing up mystery mailers, um, like sorting all of that stuff. I have been listing and selling uh, some other items and we've been moving furniture for Andrew's parents. And so this week has kind of just been like, we haven't really done a whole lot. Um, I kind of thought about like skipping this week and then um, like putting it into next week and kind of combining it into one studio vlog. Uh, my son is coming down the hallway. I'm sure you can hear that. Okay. Mama's filming, but we're gonna look at it together. All right, you guys ready for this? What are you showing me? I made new additions to this. Can you can you lift it up so we can see it? Like right here, see that? <gasps> okay, tell me about it. I added additions to my old robot. It looks really cool. And I made another robot called the Flippo Charger. The Flippo Charger, you guys. Genius kids over here. <laughs> These cords, I'm pretending it can fly, and this plugs into the generator here on it. Wow. Those triangles are the generators. And then once it's done charging, this is the one for vehicles, and the other one on the other side is for itself. Okay, anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave the vlog here. We didn't really do a whole lot, but I just wanted to like keep up with the weekly thing. I didn't wanna get in the habit of skipping a week because for me, I kinda need the accountability of like, I need to post every week. Um, and it'll just be that sometimes we don't do that much, but I'm really hoping that as we get finished with the craft room, the studio, kind of changing it into a studio more than a craft room, things will kind of get easier and I'll be able to focus more on my Etsy shop. Now with that in mind, we do have contractors coming on Tuesday of this coming week to uh, give us some quotes on what it would cost to do a few different things that we have been considering for the uh, studio, which is like putting a dormer in on the slanty wall, um, which would just like make windows basically. So the whole thing would be windows and the wall would be less short. Um, and then also like expanding the room over that way. There's just a staircase there that we don't ever use and it goes down into the kitchen and it's kind of useless. Um, so we've been considering getting rid of the staircase and making the room larger. And then 
on top of that, possibly even pushing the wall out further because there is attic space that's not being used there. So I could maybe have a larger space. And then the big one that probably will not happen is possibly putting an addition on our house and moving me out of this room and into the addition and then like having the kids have a playroom in here. Um, so they'd have a little more rooms because their rooms are a little small. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's kind of the plan. I'll keep you updated and let you know next week how it goes and what we kind of find out. But yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the weekend and I'll see you guys next week.